Be safe getting to college, it's icy this morning. See you tonight, Pickle. Bye. Bye. Hello, welcome. You join me on a frosty, bright, wintry morning and I'm walking into town to go to the post office and run a few errands. I haven't had a good long walk in a while so it feels good to get out and stretch my legs properly. Every six months or so, I get a craving for a particular thing, edible thing for Marks and Spencers. No, not cookies. And not yum yums either, though both are very, very tempting. But their chicken and bacon Caesar wrap. Exceedingly calorific and exceedingly delicious. And seeing as I was in Marks and Spencers, I had a a nice little look around at all the lovely Marks and Spencers things, cute tins and cookies, posh biscuits. And slightly scary dog-shaped Easter things. I kind of flip between shunning the commercial nonsense that is Valentine's Day and also really loving the kitsch chocolate-based pinkness of it all. Not leaving the chickens out, making sure they've got a nice little edible treat too. <sighs> Worth every last calorie. All 600 odd of them. Yum. It is a very cold and sunny Tuesday here in Kent, in the very southeast of England. I am about to go and get the laundry out of the washing machine, hang it up and run the hoover round upstairs because I didn't uh, get around to doing that yesterday. And then I'll probably hoover downstairs as well again because I seem to have to do that on a daily basis as well as cleaning the kitchen because everybody likes to come home and mess it up. <laughs> So I'm going to do that, but first I have got to quickly work on my thumbnail for a video that I've got going up hopefully tonight. And I've got to do some planning as well for a couple of videos on my knitting and crochet channel that I um, have got in the pipeline. Uh, I'm hoping to be a bit more organised with planning those and working them into my filming schedule, which makes me sound much more organised and professional than I actually am. I don't really have a filming schedule. I have I have 
lots and lots of ideas floating about in my head and I occasionally reach out and grab one and then work out what to do. <laughs> oh, and I've got to mend a random thing here. So Phoebe got a sort of uh, crystal sparkly window decoration thing that you hang in your window and it catches the light. It's really pretty. So it goes like that. And then this, oh, this is the main bit that um, it hangs from. But the wires are, have all sort of come, uh, they're like split rings and they've all completely come apart. So I'm going to try to fix it with stronger split rings. Maybe even super glue a little bead or something to keep it all together. I'm probably not going to do that today though. I think that'll take me too long. So I'll just put that somewhere safe. No, anyway, I don't know why I'm just sitting here telling you my to-do list. I better just go and get on with it. Oh, I should just say as well that I walked all the way to the post office um, only to discover that they are still not... So the website said they were now taking international mail because the Royal Mail have had some kind of cyber security issue. It's been going on for weeks and they haven't been able to accept any international mail. Then they updated their website to say they were taking letters and large letters and most of my orders that I post out my Etsy shop are large letters so I went trundling down there all excited only to be told that they can only take large letters if they don't have custom stickers on them so and all of my outgoing orders have custom stickers on them so I still can't post internationally so I'm going to have to message all of my customers so thank you to all of you international orderers for my Etsy shop that are waiting. There are quite a few of you who are being so understanding and so patient. Thank you. I know it seems a little bit unusual, but uh, scrambling up some of the chicken's own eggs, not other chicken's eggs, uh, is really good for them. Uh, it's uh, a really nutritious thing. It takes a lot of uh, effort to produce eggs and the, the, the nutritional benefits of eating eggs really help with that. So I've scrambled some up for them and I'm going to just let it cool down a little bit but I'm going to serve it to them warm because it's a really cold day today uh, so they'll have something warm in their, in their tummies. <laughs> you know something exciting is coming, don't you? Excuse me. Come on, Cloud. You're going the wrong way. It's just before four o'clock and I'm going to go and get Phoebe from school. I don't normally pick her up from school these days because she's in secondary school now, so she walks to and from school herself. But she stayed for netball uh, after school today. So as it's a bit later, I said I'd just go and pick her up because it's not as busy walking back. So I've got my hood up. Not as busy pedestrian-wise, so uh, and not as busy um, traffic-wise either. So it's easy just to pop down and get her now. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm still got my uh, indoor <laughs> slippery things on. I'm just going to wear those and uh, pick her up like this. Welcome home, Phoebe. <laughs> Did you have a good day at school? Yes. Yes? How was netball? It's good. <laughs> I just had a message from Lilia to say she's out of college and can I come and get her? Which is fine, but I'm just going to let Phoebe know because she can stay by herself now. 
I'm just going to go and get Lilia. Yeah. You alright on your own for five no, minutes? Yeah, I'll be good. Alright, I'll leave the door. I'll only be five minutes. Wide open. Oh, wide open. Got it. Thank you. Okay, let's go and get Lilia. Another car journey in my slippers. I'm just back from picking up Lilia and I have been a bit distracted with my uh, David Attenborough cross stitch which is looking really funny at the moment but, but really cool at the same time and I need to put this down because I've got to do a thumbnail for my video which I haven't done and I need to cook dinner for the girls because they have to eat. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. Now you can look at me whilst I'm talking rather than at a cross stitch, David Attenborough. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cook the girls dinner uh, now for about sort of quarter to six, a bit earlier than normal because um, they're having sausage and mash. Lydia's always really hungry when she gets in and Phoebe needs to be a bit earlier because she's got trampolining tonight. It's a bit early for me and Dan and he won't be in until about then anyway and we're going to have salmon and mash so I will do that once Phoebe's at trampolining for us. Uh, but I better get started on that. So I'm gonna, yeah, start peeling potatoes and chopping and getting things ready. And at the same time, I need to do the thumbnail for my video. Right. Dan's home. He has Hello. taken Phoebe to trampolining and I have made us dinner. It doesn't look very good. Oh, it tastes it's not the delicious. Best presentation. It's sauteed Savoy cabbage with mashed potato and salmon. Oh, and and you'll it find smells, it smashed potato. Yes, smashed, not mashed. It's just a, a suggestion of mashing. No. There's nowhere I can really stand at this time of night in the kitchen without being underneath a really unflattering light. <laughs> I was going to wait and film this tomorrow in the daylight. Uh, but I'm just being really impatient because I've just got home from work and I've had a couple of bits of post and I thought I'll save them and I'll open them up on the vlog tomorrow but I can't I don't I don't have the willpower I need to open them now so bad lighting it is I ordered a second hand book oh it's not oh it's in quite good condition that oh now this is actually designed to look not in good condition and I'm going to explain why I bought it so this is Jasper Ford the big over easy, but look, the spine, oh, I love it when a second-hand book spine is perfect, even though I'm not that precious about it when I'm reading. I do like a second-hand book to have a nice spine, it's, it's lovely. Very good, a few little scuffs on it, but the um, cover design, that's part of the design, it's supposed to look like that. So the reason I um, uh, ordered this is because I've been having a big clear out and declutter which I will be talking about over the coming days and weeks and uh, one of the things I found uh, whilst I was cleaning out one of my bookshelves was oh, that took a lot longer to find than I thought it would I looked everywhere and then realized I put it back on the bookshelf where I'd originally got it because <laughs> I'm not getting rid of it and I've had this book for years and either my mum or my sister passed it on to me and I'm not even sure if they want it back actually. Uh, I've read The Air Affair before by Jasper Ford and I absolutely loved The Air Affair. I had not long finished Jane Eyre at the time and it kind of gave me a way back into the characters from Jane Eyre. I was like really missing Mr Rochester and he was in The Air Affair uh, because it's all set in a kind of world where uh, the lines between fiction and reality are kind of blurred from what I remember. I read it many years ago. But The Fourth Bear, which is the one I found, is the second book in the Nursery Crime... Nursery Crime? Nursery Crime Division series. So this is the second book and The Big Over Easy was the first book. So I wanted to read this one before this one. Uh, so I went on to eBay and I think this was from World of Book, no, Music Magpie it was from on eBay. Um, it was only about £3 
and it's one of the ones they describe as in very good condition so really really pleased with that bit of a bargain I shall look forward to reading both of them any reading tips for how you get more things read in your daily life would be much appreciated I'd like to read more I might talk about some of the books I've read over, or, or listened to over January actually I might do that in another book I've also got an envelope here which I'm quite excited about oh, oh. <laughs> right so obviously I'm a member of my local library and I used to be a member of uh, the library in the next uh, borough so I'm a, I live in Kent but I'm literally just inside Kent and the next uh, sort of section the next area along is one of the London boroughs uh, so I applied for a library card to join that London Borough um, Library as well because one of their libraries sits right next to where I do most of my grocery shopping so it's really easy to pop in but also I'm on Borough Box. Borough Box by the way is a uh, like Audible but free. It's like the library version of Audible you can borrow audio audiobooks so you can if they're, if they're already loaned out you can apply to reserve them and then when they come back in you can listen to them it's a brilliant way of listening to audiobooks oh hang on that's dan texting to say he's on his way home and can i put the water on for the rice that's done what was I rambling on about? Yes, yeah, so basically I've joined the other um, library area so that I have access to their borrow box. I'm not actually sure if this is a plan that's going to work, but I'm hoping they'll have a different variety to Kent libraries because I'm finding that actually their variety is not that great. And the books that I do find, I've got really long waiting lists on them. So I'm just trying to expand my options for listening to audiobooks basically. So I have got my library card for that. Very bookish snail mail, which I'm very happy with. So Phoebe is, I haven't really filmed today. I just wanted to drop in and show you that. So I'll probably film a bit more tomorrow. Uh, Phoebe's off at trampolining again. It's Wednesday night. Dan has got a bit of training to do online tonight for his football coaching that he does. He coaches her football team and he's doing some free training. And I am gonna put my pajamas on and kick back and relax. I might finish my book that I'm reading at the moment, which is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell, which uh, which I am I have been hooked on and I really wanted to finish it last night, but my eyes were shutting. It was like midnight and I had 10 pages left and I was like, I just can't do it. So I might go and sneakily finish that while everyone's otherwise engaged. Lilia's at her boyfriend's for dinner. I'm just wittering. I think I'll turn the camera off and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, it is Friday. No, it's not. What am I saying? It's Thursday. If it was Friday, I'd be at work. It's Thursday today. And I've just got all set up because I'm about to film uh, some content for my knitting and crochet channel. Oh, sorry, once I've got a cup of tea in my hand, I just can't resist slurping it. Um, which is why, because I'm filming for my knitting and crochet channel, I'm wearing my as if tea which I knitted and it is a pattern by Shay Johnson and it is inspired by the um, outfits worn by Cher in Clueless, which is why it's called the As If Tea. And I really like it. It's good for days like this when it's, it's a little bit chilly because this is warm. It's really nice and woolly, but it's not for freezing. Actually, that's not true. It is quite cold, but not in the house. <laughs> Uh, but before I start filming that, while I've got the camera all set up, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the book that I started reading last night. So I finished uh, The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell, uh, which I bought secondhand last summer. Uh, my friend Sarah recommended it to me and I couldn't put it down. I loved it. I don't think I've read a book that quickly in ages. It's a bit of a thriller and a murder mystery. 
and I really enjoyed it and there is a sequel to it. It's really At the end of the book it's really set up for the next book so um, I'm really looking forward to tracking that down and, uh, and reading that next. Well, not next, reading it soon <laughs> because I've already started on my next book. So it's the big over easy and it's the first of two books in the Nursery Crimes Division series by Jasper Ford. Jasper Ford is an author who takes all kind he he kind of tangles up l different literature and genres and fiction and nursery rhymes and previous books and classics and all kinds of things and pushes them all together in this strange world where sort of fiction meets reality it's really hard to describe i started reading it last night because dan was on some training phoebe was at trampolining and my eldest daughter lilia was at her boyfriend's so i had about an hour and a half to read and i read the first hundred pages i never get that amount read in one go i was so pleased and i'm really enjoying it so far it's one of these really annoying books where if you're sitting next to someone though you have to keep reading bits out to them <laughs> which isn't the same as reading it yourself and it just annoys the people around you but yeah so I started that last night and now I'm gonna go and film a very at the start of a very special series that I'm gonna be doing over the course of the entire year on Little Drops of Wonderful so if you want to know what it is you need to keep an eye on my Little Drops of Wonderful channel because it'll be released probably this weekend which means it'll probably be released before you even watch this video so you probably already know So I, as part of my podcast filming, had to get some yarn out and in the process I ended up doing quite a bit of clearing out of this cupboard which still needs organising, don't get me wrong. This is actually my cupboard for longer things but really it's mainly Dan's wetsuit because I haven't got mine yet and a couple of Lilia's dresses that are long and then maybe three or four of mine and that's about it. Oh, and my wedding dress. My wedding dress is there. And this is where I also keep my yarn stash. So I've got three boxes like this one, the same size, all stacked on top of each other. And then these are all a box full of all my minis here. And then around the corner here, I've got some stuff that's put aside for birthdays, or rather Lilia's birthday and other stuff. And it looks pretty messy, but actually it's really organized now. And then up here, I've got more yarn. <laughs> it's yarn everywhere. And crafty bits. And I, I do need to have a, a clear out up here. But I had a, a bit of a good sort out. I'll show you what, I, what I've got to go to the charity shop and go out. Here is some stuff that's going to the charity shop. This is a Swift. I actually have two yarn Swifts. And I don't need two yarn Swifts. So I'm going to uh, take one. I, actually, I might put this on eBay. I might put the yarn Swift on eBay. Uh, but everything else in here I have made ruthless decisions over. They're going to the charity shop. Things I haven't looked at, touched or used in at least two years. That's my cross stitch. <laughs> it's another one I'm working on. Look at the chicken. Looks just like Peggy. This is some stuff I need to go through. It's patterns of my own devising and patterns cut out in magazines and stuff. I'm probably just going to recycle it all. And then I've got clothes in a bag here. And it's all good to go. And then I've got a bag here full of orders and other podcast related post, which is all international and I still can't send it by Royal Mail. It is so infuriating. I thought I'd take a leaf out of the cat's book and come and sit in a sunbeam because it's so cold in the house. It's lovely and warm in this sunbeam. However, it's clearly a very good idea if you're a cat because she came to join me, didn't you? She really likes being around humans. She just likes sitting on her lap. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this random little couple of days in the week of my life here on planet Earth. I am going to go and make a warming cup of Lapsang Souchong and I think I'm going to sit down for an hour 
uh, before I do some editing <laughs> of the filming that I did earlier and then Phoebe will be home from school uh, but I'm just going to spend an hour drinking a lovely warming cup of tea and doing I think a little bit of knitting or cross stitch or maybe both and I'll see you again in the next video so goodbye from me and goodbye from Mia say bye bye I can almost hear her thinking ridiculous human <laughs>